Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and this is going to be a video on a bag that I just came up with because of uh, an incident that happened not too long ago here at my house. Uh, as you guys can see by the title, uh, I'm going to be calling this bag a bug in bag. Now a lot of us carry like an EDC bag or maybe a bug out bag in the car or we have a bug out bag in the house uh, just in case something were to happen. You can grab it and go, you know, you can have it in your car and go. Well, um, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory on why I'm calling this a bug in bag. Uh, basically, about two weeks ago, I had a uh, power outage in the whole community where I live in, and we actually lost power for about four hours. Uh, you know, not a major thing. I think something happened with one of the transformers or something like that. So, you know, it just took, uh, you know, the power company to come out and fix it. But obviously, you know, it, it, we're without power for about four hours. Now, um, you know, all of us, we do, you know, if... if uh, if we're in the knife, gun, tactical community, you know, we generally have, you know, flashlights or uh, maybe glow sticks and stuff like that laying around. Um, you know, I personally have uh, quite a bit of flashlights and, you know, they're just kind of scattered here and there. One that I carry every day and, you know, just some that I have in a, you know, in a drawer, and night table, things like that. Uh, well, it just, uh, it, it happened where, you know, the lights went out. It was around 7 o'clock at night, so it was already dark outside. So obviously I had to go and reach for a flashlight. Now, I didn't want to have to walk around with that one particular flashlight, so I had to kind of scramble around and find other flashlights and, you know, to give to, uh, you know, to other family members so they would have light, uh, maybe to set one up in the bathroom so there would be light in there if, in case somebody needed to use it. Uh, long story short, it was just uh, all the gear was kind of scattered all over the place. So I figured I would come up with something, you know, um, a bag that I could have that would, that would stay at home. Uh, it, it's not going to be for any particular uh, life-threatening, you know, emergencies or anything like that. But it's just something to have it all in one particular package in case something like this were to happen again. Hence the bug in bag term. Now, obviously, as you guys can see, this is not uh, any type of Maxpedition or Condor, or Blackhawk, anything like that bag. This is just a, a bag that I found laying around. Um, the chances of this being used on a regular basis are, are, you know, very slim. So I figured I'd go with something inexpensive, just something that I already had, just so I can kind of house some stuff in there. Now, obviously, the stuff in here you're not going to want to use because you're going to want to have it ready in case you need it, just like, uh, you know, anything else. So this is not something that, you know, if I need a flashlight, I'm going to go into this bag to get. You know, I still have, you know, that flashlight in my night table that I can use for, you know, for looking for something under the bed or something like that. This is going to stay in there uh, and then be used in that particular type of, um, you know, situation. So let me just go into the bag and I'll just show you what's in it and, uh, you know, I'll go from there. So basically this, uh, it's kind of like a messenger style bag. Um, the reason I chose this bag is because it's, uh, it's this kind of canvas material, but it's got a very thin profile. So if I need to slide it like behind the, the bed or something like that, or, um, you know, next to some shoes in the closet, you know, it fits really nice. It's got uh, this Velcro closure in the front. And then, um, when it opens up, you actually have all these, uh, little compartments in the front so it makes it real easy to kind of stow gear um, you know separately so you can reach what it is that you're looking for and then it has a, a bigger compartment in the back there so um, you know it has some compartments on the side a long one right here and then a long one on the other side now obviously because I'm already gonna be at home there's uh you know there's no food or anything like that in the bag I you know I have all that stuff in the uh, in the fridge so uh, you know if I need that I can just go to the kitchen so uh, this pocket right up here uh, if you open it up I have this uh, battery caddy and basically what this does is it stores um, eight AA batteries and four AAA batteries and what I tried to do is uh, any of the flashlights or devices that I have in here, I tried to keep that platform with batteries. That way I always have batteries for them. You know, that's obviously, uh, you know, a, a good mentality. Uh, this little pocket right here, I do have a, uh, a small little multi-tool uh, just in case the need were to arise for something like that. And this is just a, a cheapo brand multi-tool. It's, uh, it's nothing major. But the main um, focus of this bag is going to be lights because obviously... Uh, you know, flashlights, things like that. If the power goes out, you're going to want to have that. So this one has um, a tiny little flashlight kind of built into it. You know, nothing big, but, you know, it's, you know as far as a little backup, it always comes in handy. And then you got this uh, this bigger pocket right here. And inside that pocket, it's just going to be a little battery-powered uh, Coleman fan. You know, obviously, uh, you know, living in South Florida, you do get some hot nights. And if you, you know, the power goes out, your AC goes out, um, you know, you 
want to have that, especially with uh, with kids, you know. My son, you know, would get a kick out of that, so it's always nice. Uh, and this other pocket right here, I just have a deck of cards, obviously a little bit of entertainment. You know, there's no TV, there's no uh, movies, nothing like that, so, you know, you kind of, you know, have to pass the time. This is always a, a good option for that. Now, in the, uh, in the side pocket right here, I have uh, one of the flashlights, and this is the uh, Remington flashlight. I actually did a review on this already, so I'm not going to go too depth, too much into that, but it's just the uh, that Remington flashlight that is both a flashlight, and then if you pull it, uh, it becomes a lantern as well. Uh, this is obviously a really good option to have, like I said, maybe like in a bathroom, uh, just because the lantern style will give you more, um, you know, it'll light up a wider area. Sorry, I keep on going off frame, but it'll um, light up a wider area, so that's a, that's a good one to have there. Um, on the other side, and, and I just kind of threw these in there just because I had a couple of them, I have uh, three of these, if you guys haven't seen them, these uh, five hour energy drinks. Again, you know, if you're, uh, you know, if power goes out and, you know, you're, you're running around doing th things and stuff like that, you know, maybe you want to go out, you're going to talk to your neighbors, something happened, maybe a tree fell, you got to cut it down, then, you know, this is just a little quick boost of energy. But again, I just kind of threw them in there because I have them laying around. Now, inside the main pocket, um, clipped to the pocket, to, um, to the side of the pocket here, I have the other flashlight that I included in that review. And this is that, um, what is it, uh, Quaro? Uh, it's kind of like a vertical flashlight. You just, you know, clip on, you know, click on the top and it comes on. And then it has a magnet base. This is all, uh, also a good flashlight, especially like maybe in the kitchen. You could, um, you know, mag you know, put it onto the refrigerator. Since it's a magnet, you know, depending on the fridge you have, it'll stick on there and you're good to go. Um, there is one more pocket right down here. Uh, and in that pocket, I do have a couple of glow sticks. Uh, just different colors and things like that. Again, that's always good, you know, just to kind of uh, maybe in a room that somebody's going to go be going in and out. If you don't want to waste the batteries on your flashlight, then, you know, you can use those. Now, the one thing that I don't have in the bag uh, as of now is any candles or matches. I know a lot of people would say, well, why waste batteries and you can do that? I do have, uh, you know, in in the kitchen a drawer that I do store candles and matches in there. So, uh, at least I, any, everybody knows that if, if we need it, you know, you can go and get it from that drawer. So that's why I don't have it in here. Uh, this is more, you know, for if I tell my wife, hey, can you go get that bag? She knows where it is and stuff like that, and uh, we're ready. Inside the bag, I also have a first aid kit. Now, this is a adventure medical kit, um, one to four people. Now, this is a stock. You know, this is basically you know what the kit itself brings I haven't taken anything out of it and again the reason for it is because if I'm gonna be at home you know I do have a first aid kit at home as well that I have stocked up with the actual medications and things like that that the particular people would need so this is just uh, you know a backup for that particular situation if somebody cuts themselves and something like that I can always use it out of here and i uh, good to go um, the other thing that I have in here is just this uh, out, out, I'm sorry Outtac Outfitter survival kit now I've done a review on this, uh, and it just has you know a couple little survival items in there. Again, this is just something that I had uh, laying around that I figured would you know fit really nicely in this because I wouldn't normally use this kit for anything else. So if I have it in here, I know I'm not going to use it unless I really need it. Uh, if you guys are interested, I am going to be doing a review on this because this is actually an updated version of that kit. Um, I did a review about a year ago on this one, but a lot of things have changed from the kit, so I'm going to be updating you guys on that, so stay tuned for that video. And then uh, last but not least in there, I do have uh, a lantern. Now um, these, I know a lot of people uh, don't normally, would, wouldn't normally consider something like this for, for their home, uh, maybe more for a car, an RV, a boat, or something like that, but you know, this, uh, this particular one is, is really good because it's actually 170 lumens, and this comes from Life Gear, uh, this, this is part of their Glow Edition, but uh, I'm going to be doing a review on this as well, I just, I picked up a couple of these, uh, or I received a couple of these, I should say, not too long ago, so... Uh, you know, stay tuned for that. But this is obviously, as you guys can see, all the LEDs in there. Uh, it puts on a lot of light. And again, it's both a flashlight and um, a, this uh, kind of lantern style, so you can set it on space and give you a lot of uh, a lot of light. Now, obviously, as you guys can see, there's a lot of room in here that I've left open. 
and it's just in case you know if I were to think of anything else that I that I would throw in there you know it gives me that option I don't want to pack it out too much again it's not going to be used on a daily basis this is just for if something were to happen while I'm at home I'm not going to be taking this bag if I'm more if I were to have to uh, you know leave in a hurry maybe something's happening or whatever and again that's why I use uh, I don't use the high-end items you know this is just something kind of to get me through until the power is restored or you know or, or something like that so if you guys have any suggestions as to what else you would add to a bag like this or if you guys already have a particular setup on this you know i would love to see some uh little responses if you guys want to make them and if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know all right guys thanks